Today, we are talking all about ideas to give you the ultimate movie night for your youth group. Welcome to the Ministry Coach Podcast, where we bring you weekly tips and tactics to help you fast track the growth and health of your youth ministry. My name is Jeff Lascola, and this is Kristen Lascola. This is a super exciting episode. This is one I feel like we are long overdue in making, but here it is. Enjoy. But this is the ultimate movie night experience for youth oh, ministry episode. Yes. Uh, Specifically for indoor. Yeah. Indoor movie, like a theater, right. like a red carpet event. And I think youth pastors are always looking for events to do with all the bells and whistles, kind of like a step-by-step -step guide. And that's what we're going to give you today. Just like, here's an event that right. you can probably pull off by next month. Like you yeah. could probably start prepping for it and have a really cool event that you might add into your permanent repertoire. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll just go quickly here, we're going to be going over um, some decor items, some things that you're going to need, maybe people that are involved that you're going to need. What else are we going to cover? Food, Food items, just a whole bunch of stuff like that. But also, I know a lot of you have the question of what am I going to show? Like, what movie should we show? Well, the eternal question. <laughs> Everyone wants to we know. We have that. an exhaustive list of movies oh, for you guys. Exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> for you guys to check out. If you uh, email us at ministrycoachpodcast at gmail.com and just put movie night, we will give you a list of all the recommended movies that we have that you can show your youth ministry and you can peruse that. So, all right, first, what do we have for the ultimate movie night experience? So after you have picked out your movie, maybe you want to pick it out or maybe you want to have students vote on it. So maybe the week before you do a little questionnaire or an online poll, like the phone polls, I forget the server for that, but that's kind of fun where you can vote in real time mm. and watch it go up and down and pick your five favorite or three favorite and let them pick from that. Yeah. Um, that's a key right there. Cause you know, if you just open it up, what movie would you guys want to <laughs> no. see? You will take the number of students you have in your ministry, multiply it by six, and that's how many different ideas you'll have. So yes. narrow it down for them. Say like, we're going to, we can do one of these three or five or whatever, and then let them choose. Yeah, exactly. And then kind of a fun way to spice it up is to do some kind of red carpet entry. So this is kind of like you're doing a mock movie premiere, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, instead of just being like, we're showing a movie at the <laughs> youth room at six o'clock PM. Hope you to see you there. You're right. just, let's take a simple idea and turn it into an event. And so that would be sort of the red carpet, carpet premiere. So you could do, um, you had a great idea for a very cheap and easy red carpet, correct? Yeah. So I, realistically, you can rent red carpet. Maybe you, some of you have access to red carpet, but the easiest way to do it is to go to just any fabric store and go maybe in their clearance section or just in their cheaper fabric and just buy red fabric. And it's about the width you would want it to be for a red carpet and just buy enough yardage that's going to fit the area that you want that red carpet to be. And because carpet obviously will stay flat, but fabric will kind of move around. If you can just duct tape it to the ground and use either black or red duct tape and, you know, just whatever the amount of distance you have and it should stay put. I've done it before. We did it a long time ago and it worked. So there you go. Yeah. And if you have access to like a velvet rope, mm -hmm. you know, or something that could really enhance that movie theaters obviously have them. Hotels have them. It would be a stretch, but you could ask if you could rent it yeah. and see what they would say. Maybe you could find one on Facebook Marketplace and just invest in it if you plan to do this event every yeah. year. It's not like going to make or break your event. So if you don't have it, it's okay. Just one of those little extras. And then the step and repeat like paparazzi wall. Yeah. And that is so easy to do. So all you have to do is get like butcher paper, or you could even do cheap fabric like you were talking about mm -hmm. and hang it up behind the red carpet. And I think if you use butcher paper, you can use like, I have a ton of my ministry logo stickers mm -hmm. and they're so cheap and you could just put a bunch of stickers yeah. on it and kind of make your own instead of like having to send it to a print right. shop or something like that. So just put your ministry logo on there. 
if you have an artistic student. Like a bunch of the little ones, just yeah. like they do. Yeah. But I was going to say, if you had a really artistic student, maybe they could draw one big one. Oh, or, yeah. I don't know. Just have some kind of step and repeat. Or if you don't have uh, stickers of them, you can just print it out, just small pieces of paper, and then stick it on there. And photographs, you won't be able to tell that it's just stuck no, from the back. Or not something. at all. And one fun element we've done before for something like this is we've had leaders or parents come and be the mock paparazzi. Yeah. And so as students are arriving, they're getting their picture taken in front of the, the wall and you know, they're just saying silly things like, who are you wearing right. <laughs> over here, over here? And it's just sort of a fun way to enter the yeah. night. Um, you can even have like a mock like interview person with a microphone yeah, there. Like like on e. <laughs> yeah, that would be really fun. And I, I actually interview students every Tuesday as we're getting started. I bring them into the auditorium mm. like, what's your New Year's resolution? Or what's your favorite Christmas gift you got or, you know, whatever. And it's just like when you put people on the spot, they just sort of freeze and right. don't know what to say. Or some people like just say something funny. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So yeah, that's a great idea. And then... And film it, if at all possible, actually film it so you can play back those answers. Oh, that's a great <laughs> idea. That could be the re part of the recap video yeah. for the following week. So then you want to think maybe about food. So you could think along the lines of movie theater type food, which is super cheap. So why are they charging so much? And very, very easy. So nacho bar, you get those big cans of nacho cheese, yeah. throw them in a crock pot, and it's the cheapest thing ever. I do that for special events and I charge like a dollar. It's like, whatever, I don't care if I break even. Right. That's That's just the point. If you want to be a little more fancy, maybe you have a smaller youth group. I can't imagine doing this for my youth group, but like a baked potato bar. Mm. So you could pre-make or have parents pre-make a, a ton bunch of potatoes. Of yeah, do stuff. all the toppings. Same with uh, nachos too. You can have a bunch of toppings That's for that true. as well. I usually go simple because I'm like, they're junior hires. <laughs> they're a bunch of animals. They want cheese and chips. They don't care. But <laughs> high schoolers might appreciate yeah. some more toppings. I think so. Of course, the candy bar mm. <laughs> like for sure have lots of options for candy and again like if you're starting to freak out like this sounds expensive <laughs> you are charging for all the food you right. tell people ahead of time there's gonna be food for sale everything's a dollar yeah. bring five bucks and you can get all kinds of stuff and specifically you cannot we'll get into this later about the legality of showing a movie at your church but you cannot sh uh, you cannot charge for admission but you can charge for food Ah, thank you, that, lawyer. And I'm not a Jeff. lawyer, so double check that. <laughs> I, that's not legal advice, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. I think accurate. you're right. That sounds right. You could do an ice cream bar. That's a lot of fun with all the different toppings. You could do, oh, this one's fun. We did this for our Christmas party. I got these big platters at Dollar Tree, and they're just those flimsy. Yeah, but they're, they're like, like chrome or... Yeah, they're like silver, and I got like small cups or cupcake liners and I put little appetizers in there and I had people walking around offering people hors d'oeuvres yeah. depending on your crowd you could choose what to put in there I think I put like two Oreos in a sleeve <laughs> you know so you got one like little sampler of Oreos it's not like you're trying to give them a full-size thing it's just a little right. taste or like that and those are free just yeah, like a, a waiter walking around with them kind of or thing. Or I got or... like the cost, yeah, the Costco box of Rice Krispie treats and just piled them up the in their like blue foil yeah. wrapper and just handed those out. I think we did a couple other things, but yeah, those are just sort of a fun atmospheric kind of thing. And then of course popcorn because it's the movies. So if you can get your hands on a popcorn machine, one hack is just go buy a bunch of pre-made popcorn. Mm. From Smart and Final, Costco, Sam's Club, whatever you have around you, and then just dump the pre made popcorn into the machine. You don't actually have to pop it because it sort of takes forever hmm. and never quite goes as planned, I've noticed. <laughs> so you could do that and sell popcorn. Yeah. And yeah, so then you and got get all those, the food covered. Those, uh, sodas. The popcorn, I think at Dollar Tree or whatever the 99 cent store in your area is, they sell those like plastic popcorn. Container things, yeah. those classic movie looking ones, 
or uh, you can order them. And we'll put I in bet- the uh, in the description, we'll put links to anything that you potentially could rent or buy. Just we'll put some resources in there. So That's check, so nice check those you. out. Well, it's so, I bet you they have the, like the paper popcorn yeah. bags in bulk on Amazon. Yeah, very cheap, we'll link so. those below. Okay, so... Um, you have your food, you have the paparazzi going, you can, um, you know, encourage people to dress up a little bit if you want. And then here's a really fun idea of how to incorporate the rest of the students. So it's like, we're here watching a movie, bum, 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 <laughs> but you know how in the old, like, I just remember seeing this in movies. I've never actually been to a drive-in movie, but they would do these little bumpers or commercials um, where it was like, let's all go to the lobby. Okay. So I think that was probably part of the previews, Mm -hmm. but take that idea and insert little shorts of your students. Mm. So you want to, prior to the event, explain that, Yes, we're going to be watching a an actual movie, but we're also going to be giving awards for your movie. So I think like you could use it as an intermission thing, like mm. halfway in between the movie, you show three shorts that the students submitted or you use it as previews. Yeah. You do three before, three in the middle, three halfway through. I don't know, like intersperse them throughout the night. So it's like a little bit of us, a little bit of movie, a little bit of us, a little bit of movie. And then the fun part becomes giving awards mm-hmm. based on those movies that the students made. So and these are like short 60 seconds or less yes, quick videos, quick videos, like preview status. Although the previews are really long. <laughs> so, um, and then you can give a prize like an Oscar, mm-hmm. I guess. To- and yeah, you can get those and we'll link that at t- below too, but you can get those little fake cheap ones that are fun to hand out. So. Yes. So you could tell them the categories ahead of time. So they know like what target they're aiming at. So you could say, Hey, we're going to give out awards for best actor, best actress, best, best film. overall. Yeah. Yeah. Best drama, best comedy. But then you can do like more specific funny right. ones just for your group. And you can make these up for whatever you want. So this, you could either do it prior or after seeing the video. Right. No, I would highly recommend watching all of them beforehand just to make sure there's nothing number one nothing inappropriate in it but two i think and i'm not like a big like everybody deserves a trophy kind of thing but this is youth ministry like can we just give everybody a trophy for participating like that's i think that's fair so you can probably say okay only in this i don't give candy to losers during the game no uh, clearly yes (laughs) okay (laughs) well i just wanted to clarify that for the listeners we do sorry for putting in the effort to make a movie not for the losers for getting no so you can i had a kid ask me that on sunday like we were playing (laughs) um head shoulders knees cup and I'm like, oh, like, oh, and you won. You get a piece of candy. And this kid goes, can I have one too? I'm like, no, candy is only for winners. <laughs> is this your the first last, day? First day and last day is that you threw. <laughs> no, so you can kind of look through and maybe just take notes about like, okay, this one is probably going to win this category. Best wig. But yeah, no, no, no. You can sit there and say, this one probably won't win anything, but we can give them an award for best, okay. you know, use yes. of a goldfish in a video or yes. make up some random funny ones based off of what you're seeing. Yeah. And that way, you know, okay, everybody's going to get something. We'll get a chance to come up and, and yeah, accept that's an fun. award. And I would say, make sure you're like finding online some Oscar music. Grammy music. Yeah. yeah. Like that they use when the people go up and accept their award. Right. Or, get cued, gently shoved off stage, you know, if they're going too long, that kind of thing. So you can try to make it as authentic as, right. as possible. And you so. can have the kids vote on them or something, you know, just so that you can get like, this is, this is legitimately the one that won. And then for some of those participation Oscars, you can hand out some of those other random ones too. So. Yeah. And if you're looking for roles for people, um, you could, ask parents to like we said before either be the paparazzi or they can work I you thought you meant roles in their movies <laughs> no we need an old man down by a river can anyone do we that we need a karen in this one um like they could help with the snack 
um, bar yeah. or the food. Waiter. They could, yeah, or be the paparazzi and stuff like that. So that could be a mix of leaders and parents. If you're hosting the night, I would highly recommend wearing something like fancy. I think you should have everybody say it's a dress up thing. And you know they're going to be casual because there's like no high schooler or junior hire that can like actually wear something nice it's like here's a tie but i have a t-shirt on i you feel know? like high schoolers can usually pull it off junior high except they'll still wear sneakers that's in right now though <laughs> they were they wear sneakers with everything prom dresses it's and maybe they're the smart ones because they they're are. comfortable so and they're more practical this yeah. generation for sure <laughs> so yeah um, and then a couple of fun names for that could be, we've called it Instagrammies and Jeff corrected me. He's like, Grammy is for music. And that's what I sounded like. I sound like this crotchety old man who's got an accent. Grammys were always <laughs> for music. In my day, the Grammys were only for music. The phonograph would go and they'd give an award. <laughs> um, I don't Sorry. think anybody really cares, but you, Jeff had another great name for it called the. I wouldn't say great. Let's say okay. <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> TikTokers. <Yeah. laughs> the TikTokers. <laughs> I thought TikTok Oscars, but TikTokers was TikTok. probably the best. You just got to really think about it when you say yeah. it or you're going to botch it. So put in the comment section below if you're watching on YouTube. What is a much better name than the TikTokers or the Instagrammies? Yes. And this is like I, this is like a PSA in general for all your events. If you do not film your events and recap them, why not start with this one? Mm. Because it just adds new life to your events. For instance, it should be a reel every every time you meet and do an event, even if it's just regular old youth group, mm -hmm. make it larger than life by posting a reel on your story to music, clips, and highlights of the night. If you're doing an event, film it, and then yeah. the next week at youth group, like show a recap video that shows all the best parts, and it just takes on a second life and sh showcases your events really well so that people are like, because you know that kid who's like, just comes to church, never comes to any events. I think sometimes when they actually can see the events, then they're yeah. a little more likely to come or be interested. Like here's a little pro tip. I can't take credit for this. My, um, director, Caleb, what he started doing for our pre-show. And I used to just say, dump all the pictures from our previous event into pro presenter. Let's loop it. Mm. And as people are coming in, it's just pictures looping. Well, he went one step further. And now what's looping is all the recap videos from all of our events. Mm. So when a kid comes in on a Sunday or a Saturday night service, there's music going. It doesn't go to the video, but it always kind of looks like it does right. somehow. <laughs> so it's just my regular chaos 4.0 or 5.0 playlist on Spotify. You're welcome to join that one if you'd like. I added to it over break. And then we have like four or five recap videos just looping on the screens as people are coming in. So it's winter camp, summer camp, our Christmas party, our battle competition, all these things that are just going, going, going. And people just sit there and they're like, oh my gosh, there's me. Right. Or, oh, that looks so fun. Or what game were you guys playing? And it just creates this like just a super fun atmosphere and gives people a glimpse of this is what our ministry looks like. And it gives them a little behind the scenes. So it's like, maybe I do want to start coming yeah. to events or get more involved. So please film this event. If you do it, have somebody edit. If you can't do it yourself, have a student or someone there. They all know how to edit videos nowadays. Right. <laughs> have them edit a video for you and show it at youth group. At the very least, put a reel on Instagram. Yeah, I remember I was visiting a youth group one time. It was a long time ago, but they had a recap video from their uh, summer camp. I remember I was mesmerized. I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. that looks, as an adult, I'm like, can I sign up to go to that camp? Like, that well, looks amazing. And I went to the camp and I'm mesmerized <laughs> by it. I just watch our whitewater rafting trip and I'm like, oh, ah! like Asher does a flip off this like 
30, 40 foot cliff. And then we're going down this rapid. And then this kid ate a dragonfly. And you know, like (laughs) it's just, no matter how many times I watch it. This kid went to the hospital. (laughs) This girl dislocated her knee. Mm, True story. story. True story. Um, So like I even get, like it gets you amped and then it gets me excited for it to come again. So I hope that the kids feel the same Yeah, and way. then that's the thing is when that event rolls around, if this movie night experience is going to become a regular, when it comes around the next year, instead of just talking it up, you're showing videos of of what, what happened and people are like, oh my gosh, I can't miss that. You know, yeah. and they remember it and it's just yeah. cool to cool to have that and it's like a unity thing too all the people that went i think they feel like hey there we, we are. made it on the video yeah. so um we kind of have to talk here just briefly Fine print. again yeah i'm not i'm not a lawyer so do check with a lawyer no, just kidding. <laughs> double check this but you're you're, go- you're gonna need a cvli license and you can just go to cvli.com your church or denomination may already have a blanket one that covers your youth group anyways so double check with them but if not you to cross all your t's and dot all your i's you're supposed to get that license to be able to show a video uh, or movie in a public setting setting or something like that so yeah. double check i'm again this is not legal advice i'm not a lawyer just double check because we'll if you don't that. the feds are gonna come busting through the doors Probably. and be like turn off yes day right now <laughs> happened yeah. you're like we've been doing this for 20 years and have never done that hey I'm it's just, a youth ministry just urban saying, legend right so all right let's do a question of the day and this is something that everybody should answer because i know everybody does have an answer to this so this is i'm gonna read it so i don't mess it up here what food do you hate watching people eat? Well, I just hate in general if anyone licks their fingers while they're eating anything. <laughs> so anything where with the one smack sound that comes well, with it too, where one might lick their fingers, that <laughs> is what I would be like. Nope, can't do it. I think it's even worse when it's like the powder coating, where you know, like a like, like a Cheetos or Cheetos. something, where you don't actually even get all of it off. You know, like it's extra. <sighs> Ugh. extra gross it's the noises yeah yeah that de- definitely and makes oysters it that much worse. that's what i was gonna say oysters now i can't say i've actually ever seen anyone eat them in person but on movies they do it and i'm like gross yeah it's the very slurp and the very slimy look Ugh. slurpy slimy yeah pretty foul i had fried oysters i didn't have to like to eat those those are just like those are pretty good but i've yeah. never had an oyster Me either and i don't I think don't ever will because it. of how it looks yeah no so. no well put in, um, in the comment section below something that you hate watching people eat what were you gonna say i was gonna say quail eggs too oh i did see somebody eat yeah that. i don't remember the how. it was like on sushi and it was very i thought it was a joke i'm like you're just making stuff up but <laughs> this isn't on the menu oh here's here's your quail eggs sir i was like oh my god if you could eat anything at a sushi restaurant why quail eggs <laughs> like that just seems like you're trying they're to be... not even of the sea they're not <laughs> Wait, or are they? California has is the quail is the uh, national bird or the state bird, <laughs> the national state bird. It is. Yeah, state bird is a quail. Huh, that's All weird. right, this is a community comment of the day. This comes from, and I'm gonna mess up your name because I mess up everyone's names. But Eric Van Hofwegen four zero three four. So hopefully, I did a pretty good job pronouncing it. He says. Great podcast. Never miss an episode. Mon- Monday, I'm going to youth camp for the first time in my life, and what? I'm 55. What? Should be fun. I feel like you guys prepped me for this. Keep yeah, the yeah. great stuff coming. You're welcome, Eric. That was actually, that comment was from a while ago, so I think he was talking about summer camp. <laughs> no, but... he's going this Monday. <laughs> he was waiting for us to read it, and now he can go. This is the Magic Monday. It's happening. Just another Magic Monday. Monday. Hey, you guys, make sure you <laughs> get that download we're always uh, we ready for anything you. we can send you the uh all the top movies recommended movies and all that if you guys want a giant list oh. of things that you know you can pick and choose from you're so, welcome yeah you're welcome just email us at ministry coach podcast at gmail.com and we will send that over to you and just put movie night or something like that in the subject line and we'll get that sent over to you Thank you so much for watching and listening, and And we will see see you you next time. time. Today, we're talking all about how to give you the ultimate UV movie noodle. Welcome to the Ministry Coach Podcast, where every week we bring you, no, um, the forefoot, the front foot being, or sorry. Which foot? Leading with the foot. Your best drama, best comedy, best quote, best wig.